Sam, what to do, big bro? It's What's about going time. On? We ready? Same shit. Yes, sir. We've been waiting on this. We're going to go ahead and jump right into episode two. It's been a long, interesting week. Crazy weekend in sports. So, uh, yeah, man. How's that for a college football weekend, huh? Holy wow. shit. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. So serious. Dude, all them close games, all these top teams with these close games, man. Really, Ohio State and Bama was the only one that looked like the top teams. Everybody else, man, they, it was a struggle. It was a struggle. Little dog but, starting uh, to become the big dog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, before we get started today, man, I wanted to uh, give a special shout out real quick to a couple of your peoples, actually, that, who had uh, commented on the channel. Mr. Lloyd Russell, appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Big Lloyd, what's up, man? You know, I, I appreciate you, you know, all the time. You know, we'll link up soon. Hell yeah. And and one Joe Nails, we appreciate you too, bro. Thank you so much for Joe Nails. taking the time to comment, showing love to your boy Sam over there. I know yep. y'all go back. Big cuz. So. Yeah, that's big cuz, man. Yes, sir. So I just want to give give a shout out to a lot of people, man, that called me and text me. Let me know, man. We 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 appreciate you doing something for the culture. We're doing big things, man. Like I say, it can be small scale or it can be big scale, but like I say, it's for us. Much respect, much respect, bro. And I wanted to also get a shout out to all subscribers we got on the channel right now. I think we're up to 21 the last time I looked. 21. If I'm not mistaken. Appreciate everybody. If we could get that up as much as we can get it up, I appreciate everybody for that. It's all love. Oh, I man. love it. I love it. Also, uh, in a moment of seriousness, I wanted to put a serious thought into prayer and everybody in Florida, yourself included, Sam. I know you're not in the direct area. Um, you just can't take it lightly. Um, for Hurricane Ian, everybody, just be safe. If you're down there, I just pray for all those people. I got close people of mine that are down there, and I'm kind of worried, but I got to put my faith in the man above, and hopefully everything's going to be all cool. But I just wanted to shout them out real quick that we – that we praying and we hoping for everybody, Definitely. man. Definitely. I got people down there too. So man, friends, family, we got your back. Call us if you need us. I'm gonna definitely call you after the storm passes. So we're definitely gonna call. We love y'all. Just stay safe. Don't go outside. Don't play no TikTok, don't no TikToking outside now. Oh my god, that shit ain't worth it, bro. That mm -hmm. shit crazy. Well, yeah, let's dive right into it, man. We got a uh College football recap, a uh, couple takeaways I had, I had down. We had Georgia, who pulled away from Kent State, man. They ended up winning 39-22. That game was 12-10 to at one point in the second quarter until wow. until uh, Georgia went on their run. Yeah, it was crazy. Clemson survives in OT, 51-45 over Wake Forest. Wake Forest was coming for Double overtime. Man. Double that overtime. That Wake Forest quarterback wasn't about no bullshit that game. And then also, Choklahoma lost 41-34 to Kansas State, bro. Once again, choking it away. No disrespect mm -hmm. intended. I didn't make up the term. I just, that's what you hear about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, USC, man, they they just barely skied by Oregon State, man. Barely got by Oregon State, 17-14. Penn State struggled in the first half for Central Michigan. They ended up winning 33-14. to Good for y'all because I would really hate to see y'all lose that game and take take it, take it meaning from when we play them soon. So, And then, uh, like I said, Alabama and OSU were the only top teams who really shined, man, you know. So. Right. Oh my gosh. And the hurricanes. Hurricanes. Bro. That's what I was gonna jump in and write in and say. Hurricanes lose the <laughs> tell Eastern, me what the who Middle Tennessee State? Middle dude, Tennessee, who, bro. Oh dude, my goodness. Middle what Tennessee are State. Doing? What are y'all doing? Sam, what happened? Man, they just got whipped. They just got out beat, out ran, out tackled, everything, man. Bro. It, was a, it was a shootout bro. from the beginning to the end. They really never had a chance. Middle Tennessee dominated them offensively. The whole Long passing plays. Bro, killed them. Had a 98-yard bomb, a 71-yard bomb, a 69-yard bomb. <laughs> Miami yeah, pulled yeah. their quarterback. Their quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke, he got pulled. It was it was time. Suicide it was watch. Time. Yeah, he's it's on so suicide funny. watch right now. 
Shout out to my homeboy. I have a homeboy down there. My homeboy Fry, he was down there. He was at the game. He hit me up and he was not happy. He hit me up at, when the game first started mid Tennessee through a pick and he was just smiling, sent me a picture of it. And like 20 minutes later, he says, man, I am pissed. Like, can you imagine <laughs> just being in there? Right. So shout out, man. Y- y'all will bounce you went back. to the Give stadium me. to go see that? Oh, man. You Real. did. That, that ride home was a bitch. Your ride home is crazy, bro. And then Texas Tech came back, from, came back from two touchdowns, man, to beat Texas. They almost blew it, giving away, letting that lead slip away at the in the final minute of the game, I believe it was. Right. But uh, they ended up going to overtime after the fact. And then the Texas, I believe it was the running back, he fumbled on the first play of overtime, dude. So you fumble in overtime, you give the ball right away, all the other team needs is a field goal. And that was the game decided factor right there. Boom, it's over. So it was very interesting, man. Like it was crazy weekend in you college football Texas just with A&M. those games. Texas, Texas, Texas A&M beat Arkansas. The 21, yeah, the 21 that team. That was a, Max Johnson. That was a thriller Johnson, too. That's Brad Johnson's son. Yeah. So he did his thing. He went like 11 to 21. He didn't really do a lot, but he didn't turn the ball over. And that's crucial. That's crucial playing. We like to Definitely. see it. We like to see, we like to see the upsets. I love the underdog. Definitely. I think he's better than his dad already, I think. Can't say that he won a Super Bowl. <laughs> Can't say that. Bro, Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. It don't matter. <laughs> it does matter. That shit matters. It doesn't. There's a lot bro. of people. Joe Flacco, Joe Flacco won a Super Bowl, too. So what does that mean? Bro, all I, I was just stating the facts. That's all I was doing. I mean, we could bring up garbage quarterbacks who won it for days, but yeah. Right, yeah, I know. But I that's know. but that's good, though. Shout out to Brad Johnson's son, though, man. I hope he does good there. I really do. That's yep. That would be good for him. Yep. I got Max no ill will against him. Max looking good right now. Do your thing. Do your thing, baby boy. The next one I wanted to talk about, you know we got to talk about it, Sam. The Gators fell short. They fell short versus Tennessee, man. So uh, I've been waiting to hear what you had to say about this since I watched the game Saturday. I was feeling for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. My Gators, Gators, Gators. What happened? You You tell me what happened. You did it to me again. You did it to me again. Mostly the defense. But uh, AR-15, baby Cam, what I like to call them, went for 514 total yards, four touchdowns. One pick that was at the end of the game. But... Like I say, their quarterback, what is his name? Hooker. He had 300. Hooker. He, right. Yeah, he had 300, 300 something yards passing, 100 something rushing. So basically, they, they did the same thing. They canceled each other out. It was just our defense just letting them slide. And they were trying to come back with a kickoff return. We tried to do the onside kick, got it, and just couldn't, just couldn't make it. We needed like four more, we needed like three or four more minutes. To, to finish it off, but shout out to Tennessee, man. Y'all did y'all thing, man. For real. About time y'all beat us. It's been a it's been a minute. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? It has. You know why y'all lost that game? Y'all lost that game for a few reasons, but the number one reason y'all lost that game was because of Hendon Hooker, bro. This dude Definitely. had a game, bro. He killed dude 22 bro. of 28. 349 yards, two touchdowns, no pick. He ran 13 times for 112 yards and one touchdown. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, he had almost 500, right. That's insane. Right. I mean, AR, AR put up numbers too. No, right. He threw for more, but for as far as impact in the whole game, like Hendon Hooker definitely had way more of an impact in this game. Not to mention. He had, two, he had, he had 249 yards in the first half. So you, you already on track. So we got to try to stop you some kind of way, but it was a little bit too late. But good job, good job by the ten- Tennessee Volunteers. They did their thing. Touching up on the defense, your run defense is ass, bro. They, it's so crazy to me we watching stop, teams. We can't stop anybody. It's so crazy to me watching teams who just run through Florida. I'm not accustomed to seeing that. I'm not used to seeing that. Me that either. is just crazy to me. Uh, this is 227 this is, this is rushing new. yards. Tennessee ran for 227. Yo, y'all allowed 286 to USF, 230 to Utah. Right. Like, bro, right. this is inexcusable. Like, it's too much. You just can't allow this many rushing yards and expect to beat top tier teams week in and week out. It's just more than likely not going to happen. So, right. 
But at the same time, we've been playing top tier teams all year. The only top tier team we didn't play was USF. Uh, USF, that was the only one because we played Utah at seven. We played, we played uh, Kentucky and they was at 20. So they were looking good. They were three and no at the time. And then we just lost Utah to Tennessee. Tennessee. That was at number 11, mm-hmm. at, at number 11. So right. we've, been, we've been running with the big dogs for a minute. But if I could talk about Michigan for a second, I want to let you know that y'all played nobody in the first four games. And I don't know how y'all could even be top five right now when y'all played nobody. And y'all had a problem with Maryland. Barely won. Really? So, you so let's know talk why? about that. You want to know why? Well, I'm getting there. Give me one second. But do you want to know why? We're top Let five. Me know. Let me know. Because we're undefeated. And just so everybody can see that shit, that's what time it is. When you fucking champs, you stay top five till somebody takes you off that throne. It don't matter how ugly the win is or if it's by an inch or a mile, Vin Diesel says. Winning is winning. And that is what they've been doing. The last, that last game, that last the last game didn't make me game nervous, y'all Sam. Played, Sam. The last elite that, game y'all played, Georgia walked the dog on y'all. So if you want to speak up on that. So what? We lost to the champions. It. So what? We lost to the champions. What we do to the suck eyes? It don't matter. <laughs> they, they, week in, week out. We accomplished what we set out there. Comp- I already said that, bro. Every team gets smashed in the playoffs. A college team that goes there first round. We ain't no different. That is what it is. I know you want to so go for what? my team, but I'm going for your team as well. 